Hey guys, Atumini here, and today I will be showing you guys how to obtain Android L onto any Android device for free. So for most of this, you will not need root, but if you want the full capacity of a material design UI, it does require that you have root. So let's begin this video. So as a lot of you guys already know, Android L was just announced, and I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little tired of waiting for the update to be released. I also know that Android L isn't fully finished yet, and Google is still working on the designs and the animations of the UI. So I have created a video to show you guys how to make your phone look exactly like Android L, and have some of the main features installed on your Android device, for free. Now please understand that you will not be able to obtain every single feature that Android L has to offer. For example, you will not be able to obtain the new recents tabs, the calculator, and the keyboard, but you can still obtain plenty of cool features and also, some of these methods don't require root, and some do, so I will be letting you know what requires root and what doesn't. So before I begin to show you guys how to accomplish this, I have provided a file that you can download onto your phone. And you do need to unzip it, so make sure you do that on your desktop. Once you have downloaded the file, you will see that I have provided you with APKs that are in Android L, flashable zip files for those who have root, and even the official wallpapers. Now I have practically tried to install every system application from the Android L developer version onto my Android 4.4 KitKat and sadly most of the applications aren't compatible yet or they look exactly the same. But for the applications that I was able to install, I have placed them into the Android L zip file for you to try out. Those APKs installed onto my phone without any problems, but if you cannot install an APK onto your phone, then it's probably incompatible and it won't be able to work on your device. One last thing that I wanted to mention before we move on is to make sure that you make an Android backup for root users if you plan on flashing anything or removing any system applications to install the APKs that I have provided you in the Android L zip file. So beginning with the launcher, not much has changed from what we know yet. The drawer icon has changed from the transparent look to a solid white color. A folder's background when you open them is white and lastly, they added some animations and optimizations to make the launcher feel buttery smooth. Google search hasn't really changed as well. It looks exactly the same, but I have provided the APK for you to download it anyway to see if you can try it out. Maybe there's new commands. I'm not really sure, but it is an Android L. If for whatever reason the APK won't install over the current system application that you have on your phone, due to an error, you will need to uninstall the system application and then install the APK all over again. It should work, but just in case, make a backup of the system application because you never know what could happen. A recent update towards the Google Hangout application shows a closer look at Android L material design. With the UI being completely changed, your conversations, contacts, and even a dialer separated by tabs, the dialer allows you to contact any phone number in the world from your Hangouts application using your data connection, making your phone call really cheap and in some cases even free. The boot animation has been provided for you as a zip file. You will need root to obtain the boot animation, so skip ahead if you don't have root on your device. Now I left you with two files to choose from. One of them is 15 frames per second, while the other is 30 frames per second. If you have an old device, probably like a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy Nexus, I recommend that you use the 15 frames per second. To install, you have two options. The first option is by flashing it through your recovery mode. Personally, I have twerp, but you can feel free to use clockwork mod. Like I said before, make sure you make an Android backup and then flash the boot animation zip file. If it installed properly, reboot your phone and you should see the new Android L boot animation once you boot up your phone. If it failed to flash, you need to try option two. For the second option, you will need to install an application called ES File Explorer from the Google Play Store. Once installed, open it up and slide your finger from the far left edge of the screen and a menu will pop up. Under Tools, make sure to turn on Root Explorer. It will request for root access, so make sure you grant it. Next, navigate to Device, System, Media, and rename the bootanimation.zip to bootanimation.zip1. Next, copy the Android L boot animation zip file to the same location and rename the file to bootanimation.zip. Next, long press the same file and select Properties. 
Then under permissions, tap change. And make sure to uncheck the same boxes that I have changed. Then tap OK, cancel, and reboot your device. That should have worked and if it didn't, I'm sorry but your phone is incompatible with the boot animation that I have provided you with. I have provided you as well the sounds and the font. They can be flashed to the recovery mode because they are a zip file, so make sure you don't unzip it. The font is just an updated Roboto, looking much cleaner and crisp. It also seems a little bolder so you can see the text even in a bright or crazy wallpaper. The navigation buttons are also different and to obtain these you will need root. Now in last week's video I showed you guys how to change your navigation buttons and I also included a way to make your navigation bar look like Android L. So I will link that video in the description if you want to check that out. The easter egg for Android L isn't really finished yet, but if you really insist on getting it there is an exposed module called Eggster. With this, you can enable the Android L preview on your device. With this module, you can also have the previous Easter eggs from Android 2.3 all the way to Android L. Now, like I said before, this is an exposed module, so you will need to have exposed installer on your phone. And you can find Exter under the download section of exposed installer. The Android L lock screen is much different from the regular ring lock screen on Android 4.4. Instead of sliding out towards a ring, you slide the whole lock screen upward to unlock. On the left side, you open up the dialer, and on the right side, you can open the camera, so no more widgets, sadly, but it's still a faster way to get to your camera or your phone. If you slide down, you can bring up a media player with the current song that you're playing with, and then you can skip it, pause it, or go backwards. An application called Ultimate L Lock Screen is the closest you're gonna get to when it comes to the Android L Lock Screen and plus it's free in the Google Play Store. Now we can't forget about the icons. And even though the Google Now launcher doesn't support icon packs, you can still use it for third party launchers. Closest to Android L is called Moonshine. It's free so you don't have to worry about payment and the icons are flat but with colors that pop out at you. Last but not least, if your phone is running a custom ROM that supports CyanogenMod themes from the Google Play Store, I would highly recommend a theme called Android L in the Google Play Store. It does cost $2.56, but this will allow you to theme every aspect of your Android device to make it look like Android L. From the navigation bar, to the status bar, to the settings, the keyboard, icons, and several applications. It will feel like your device is on Android L. And trust me, I can't tell my device is on Android 4.4 KitKat. So that is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys can get a taste of Android L. Please give this video a thumbs up, it helps my video out a lot. If you know anyone who wants to get Android L as well, this is the video to share. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!